Well, it's that time of year when everyone here in the UK is ill, but YouTube doesn't wait around, so I guess it's back to making videos for me. And even though the PC world has been kind of quiet recently, there has been one big announcement, and that is the Radeon RX 5500 and 5500 XT cards that have been announced by AMD. And you may remember that a while back, I did a video talking about exactly why I did the 5700 and 5700 XT cards fail. And everything points towards the 5500 and its brother to share a similar fate. And I'm going to talk about why I think that in this video. We don't exactly know the price of these cards, but we know they're going to be rather budget cards. Just the fact that it has 4GB of VRAM kind of gives it away. And those sources claim it would most likely just compete with the GTX 1650. So it's clearly meant for your audience that wants to buy a card for a budget, usually the kind of people don't know a lot about PC parts or what hardware is good and what hardware isn't. So the problem I talked about last time, which is especially bad, and it's even more important now because this card is aimed with people with even less of a budget than the 5700. They went from having cards like the RX 570 and RX 580 to all of a sudden having Vega and 7 and 5700 plastered on their cards, and it's like. Okay, how is the average customer supposed to understand then what is a good card and which isn't? And I still think that's something NVIDIA does really well and that's having a really good and consistent and easy to understand naming scheme. And the issue is it's something you can't really repair, just something you can just start working on over time. And it's still nice that it's clear that these are step down card from the RX 5700s because, you know, 55 is smaller than 57. But to many people who may have heard of other budget AMD options, such as the 570 or 580, it can be really confusing deciding on which card is actually better. Now, AMD did not announce a price, but we're most likely looking for something in the regions of 200 to 300 dollars. So again, that's not a giant budget. So you have to make it really clear to customers which card you should get for that budget, and that's something AMD is still failing to do. Another reason is that they just weren't announced in too much grandeur, and that's again something that I think AMD could do a lot better, and that's one of the things that kind of happened with the 5700, which after Computex have pretty much disappeared, even though everyone was so excited to finally see Navi graphics cards. It was just announced out of nowhere, so many people may not even be aware it exists, and so far I haven't really seen them attempt any big advertising campaign for it. Additionally, just if I can distance itself from the Navi name, which so many people know as this awesome thing, well, it's losing them a lot of potential customers, because all that Navi hype has essentially just died off. And let's also talk about the fact that because of the way they released it, it's extremely unclear what exactly they're competing with. And right now, to most of us, it seems that they're competing with some lower-end NVIDIA options like the 1650, but also essentially with themselves. Because again, to an average customer, it's extremely unclear which one of the now large variety of low-end graphics cards they should get. Additionally, NVIDIA has been already doing a lot of work recently to try and catch up with AMD when it comes to the low end graphics cards. With things like the 1650, 1660 and 1660 Ti, it is very unclear what exactly they'll be targeting. So let me know what you think of the recent announcement of those graphics cards. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to be up to. I'm looking forward to maybe AMD prove me wrong. I don't know. We'll only see when they launch. Also, you may have noticed that I finally have a new chair. And that's great because I no longer have to worry about it squeaking in videos, which you probably have heard in previous videos because it squeaked a lot. And additionally soon, I'll be essentially making a nice proper set for myself over here. So that's going to be really interesting to see. I'm going to try to make it all look nice and techy, so hopefully you like it. And if you want to help me, you know, make a nice looking set for my channel, then I recommend checking out my Patreon. It's linked down in the description below. Even $1 a month goes a long way in helping essentially what's the biggest project of my life. Also, I'd like to thank my Patreon, Barry Yule, for the support. Thank you ever so, so much. So, again, if you want to have my channel, Patreon links down in the description below. You get some awesome perks with even more coming as the channel continues to grow. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.